Now we'll see how to compile a Sonic image. So I have taken Linux machine which has 5.4 kernel and it is an Ubuntu machine. It is Ubuntu 20.04. So we'll start. So yeah, these are the dependencies for comp for installing. We need Python 3. It's already installed. The next one is you have to install this J2 CLI. This is also install, installed already. Then you have to use this git clone to get the So we already have this. Now you have to use this command to get it. So I have already compiled. I will share the steps. So before compiling, you have to make sure that you have this module over here. If it is not there, you have to do this mod prop overlay. So once this is done, you have to do a make init. This command. And then I have already done it, that's why I am breaking it. Then you have to do this make configure platform BS. So you have different plat platforms here. Since I am using a virtual machine, I am giving platform equal to VS. Once this command is done, then you have to compile it. You can give build all or I am going to use Sonic VS. Since it is a virtual machine, I can compile like this. Make target Sonic VS. So once this is compiled, your image will be in this path. So this is the path. So this is the Sonic image. The next step is you need to install this libvirt. I have already installed and make sure that this daemon is also installed. So once these two are installed, you have to go to system CTL, status, lip word. So this daemon should be running. You can make sure that this is running by using VARSH. VARSH is list if you put, you can see all the images running. So now nothing is running, So but this is the main framework. Now we will see how to start it. We have to go to platform. And we have to go to VS. Once compilation is done, we have to go here. And here, you need a file called as Sonic. So this file will be already there. So here, you have to do some modifications since I am using Ubuntu 18. So what is the change? Is this is the change. I gave the path of the image where it is compiled. The next step is this wiki model. The upper axis actually I have removed it. The C label I have removed. And this command line redirect also is removed. Instead of that, how to open that? Yes, you have 127. So instead of that, you can use this port to tell it and see the logs. And open another window and we will check. The port is not listening now. So once we start it, we will see whether it is listening. We have to create this VIR search and then we have to create give create sonic.xml. After making these two changes, after removing this and giving the correct path, we have to do create sonic. it is created so it is running so if you want to see this you can go here we saw that in that port we have listened in this uh, port 7000 so if you tell that to this you should be able to see this is a uh, VRSH is actually running using QMU you can also give grep QMU and see the command 
which is used to run. So this is the command which is used to run. And this will also create a bridge. You can see that with this. Now we'll start because I have created BR1. So this is this is the bridge. You can also see the interfaces with it. Vnet 31. So 31 interfaces it has. It should be inside the Docker. We'll see whether it is there. So now we can tell it to this. Tell it 127.0.0.1. So admin. Where? You have to log in. You have to log in with Telnet 127.007. Username is admin. Admin password is this. Capital Y O U R. Then password. For each letter capital and small. Capital and small. You have to change. So once we give, now we have come inside this. Give so version. You can see. See as we we have seen in the diagram. We can see what are all the agents. We can also give Docker PS to see whether it is running. See, this is for telemetry, this is for management, this is for SNMP, LLDP, SYNC, DFM, platform, database, like that we have for all the things. Now we can do VTYSH. So this is actually FRR stack. You can see all these things. You can exit. Then you have show interface states status. So this will show we have the interfaces. So these are all the interfaces. If you see, yeah, there are 32 interfaces actually. Then we can go to data CLI. Then we can you select zero and then if you give keys star you can see all the table inside this this is the port table so like that we can go to select one this shows the second table so this is an ASIC state table this is two for counter So ASIC API, SAI, SAI API functions. So this is for config, config related. GP configuration, what are all configurations are there. So like that you can learn. This is the basic configuration. In next video we will check how to configure between two nodes, how to run with Docker everything. This is the basic uh, example for PS and this diagram. If you want to see this overall view, that is another video which is already explains this. You can see that the, this is the these are all the containers running PMD and uh, Swiss database container. But you see here you can see LLDP is running, SYNC is running, FM, Docker database. So all these are running as per this diagram.